The Sir Wilfrid Laurier arrived last November for a six months project at Vancouver Dry Dock. The project was mainly set up to do the vessel life extension completion, which is a three phase project. This was the third phase for the replacement of the main engines. The main focus of the team was to replace the main engines, which basically included cutting an access hole in the side of the hull that had to be removed. That access hole had uh, one engine already on it. There was a total of three engines that had to be taken out of the vessel. We're doing many other maintenance jobs on the vessel to keep the vessel in operation for many more years to come. Tow bollard replacement, the new ICS system, which is the intercom system on board the vessel. For that, we had to remove all the ceiling panels inside the vessel to run new cables. So basically every room in the vessel was touched on this refit. There's not a place where we haven't been. We've also done a lot of the shaft work to the propeller blades, the gear motors, and a lot of other little itty bits around the vessel from the exhaust down to the engine floor. Part of the three engines being installed in the vessel also included removing all the old piping for the old engines because the new engines required new piping and new exhaust system. All that exhaust piping was taken out by crane. Once the new engines were in, we started installing the new exhaust piping from the top down. We've currently put in up to 600 feet of pipe for freshwater cooling, lube oil, fuel oil, compressed air. It's amazing the dedication that's come from the people. I mean, we knew going into this refit that it was an extremely tight time frame with a lot of work in the same areas of the vessel. So it was really hard to schedule all the manpower around it because all these different steps in the projects were all happening in the same area of the vessel, which was mainly the engine room. It is going to feel absolutely amazing to have this under our belt. And I'd love being a part of the team to be able to complete it. I'm really proud of the dedication of the team. I'm proud to be able to support the Canadian Coast Guard and all the important work that they do. And we're looking forward to taking on more complex projects at Vancouver Dry Dock.